hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so yesterday we talked about setting up a master class and figuring out that what you need the topic what what it's about that you're good enough for it that you actually are able to and we talked about uh well we talked about you know uh, the topic that you have the place to host it uh the place to gather your audience like a Facebook group we talked about a tool to deliver it what tool to use like a webinar platform and we talked about a funnel to capture it then we got to the ask campaign today we're going to talk about the ask campaign how to set up an ask campaign and what is an ask campaign we're going to talk about that using click funnels we're going to show you how to set up an ask campaign all right we'll get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so an ask campaign an ask campaign is where you ask a question to figure out what your audience really wants right because you could you could think you know what they want and you could do things based on what they what you would want if you were them or maybe you're thinking about how it was before you got started online or whatever it is you're teaching right but what if you're not right what if what you think isn't what they really want for example Russell Brunson talks about an addiction program that he had set up to help people get out of their addiction uh well actually it's about pornography getting away from that addiction and they thought that the most people that would be interested in is men that are addicted that want to get out that want to you know get away from that and um, recover from their addiction of that but they found that most people that were really interested in that using an ask campaign were mothers and uh, wives that wanted their husband or their children to break free from that right so they it totally changed lots of different things they were doing because they realized that most people that were really interested in that were not the same people that they thought they were right so that's what an ask campaign is for and let's just go back and share the screen here kind of show you where we were so like I said you need to have a place to host your audience where they can gather they can ask questions you can ask them questions you can get engagement you need a place to host your master class like for example click eCourse which is where I'm hosting mine you need a place to actually <coughs> create the live event and the live master class um, uh, sessions using a platform like a webinar platform like these tv or like even zoom you can use zoom right so you use those platforms to do that uh like me when I hosted uh some of the mini chat uh, training I did I did it a bunch of different weeks and I just kept going and then you need a place to host your ask campaign so I was actually starting to work on that before getting into uh, this and let's just get right to it so I'm just going to show you I just save this I'm actually going to create a brand new funnel I'll just delete this funnel here or actually archive it you can't delete in uh, uh which is kind of the same thing I suppose but if I go back to my funnels and we just go into the click funnel by the way if you are listening to the audio of this you're really going to want to go to check out the video and the blog post at cis296.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video because obviously I'm sharing my screen I'm showing you how how to do that and we're just going to go in here so I've got this ask webinar master class um instead of let's just actually go in it and just redo it so I just create a new funnel and I I'm just going to delete this delete funnel step yeah and then we're going to go it's going to delete it okay and then we have this one I'm just going to delete remove from funnel okay so whoops right so I don't have any pages delete funnel step oh you can't well okay so I don't have any funnels or anything in there so I'm going to call this ask webinar domain path I don't know uh, I don't need to worry about any of that right now uh first I'm going to add a new step 
now you could you could go find a funnel and maybe when I get this done I'll I'll know I'll set it up so I can actually share it with you um but let's just start from scratch right so first this is going to be the ask uh, webinar master uh, perfect webinar yeah perfect the ask for perfect webinar perfect webinar master all right so this is going to be that I'm just going to say ask perfect webinar all right so create funnel step so that's going to create a new a step in the funnel right funnels have can have multiple steps you can have only one if you want we're going to probably going to do just one for this so I'm going to just go and choose a basic uh template that I kind of like like this one here uh but it's it's this is an opt-in right so that I don't want an opt-in I want a well I, I do want an opt-in but I also need to ask a question right so let me just select this and by the way we're going by Russell Brunson's ask campaign you can see right here he's got an, an example of an ask campaign where he says free live workshop how to without and then what's your number one question about right so let's just we're just actually going to go through that click on edit page now and I could probably have a logo here I'm just going to delete this logo whoops delete the logo I don't want it right now so I'm going to go here I'm going to say uh what did I'm just going to go exactly by what he's got here I'm going to say free live workshop okay so free live workshop and then he says how to without okay so that's actually my uh session my my actual word uh master class is actually going to be so if I go back up to here to the previous uh one I have uh, I think I have it in here my notes notes right here yep <clears throat> so these notes here I have it here how to make your first sales with a webinar without stressing out about if whoops stressing out about if you're doing it right so this is what I'm going to do this is going to be the master class right here <clears throat> okay then I'm going to say in this text I'm going to say what's your number one question about okay what's your number one question what's your number one question about um hosting a webinar that sells right because that's what I'm doing right how to make your first sales with a webinar your first sales right so what's your number one question about hosting a webinar that sells right so um and then it then it's kind of interesting because he doesn't have he doesn't on this thing he doesn't uh, but he does talk about it a lot let me see I'll give you a free access to my master class that's happening on this course will sell for so dear friend I know your time is valuable so I'll get right to the point I need your advice oh, okay so this is the thing so maybe this is uh, this is meant to be a video let me see what he says in here so because we're experts in our respective niches it's easy to assume we know what people want and while sometimes we may be right more often we miss the mark probably because we are so close to our own ideas for example okay so he's talking about that I started he assumed okay so we used an ask campaign to collect lots of information from our market so first you create a very simple page that asks on the same page I offer people a ticket to the beta group for free they'll tell me their number one question and the page reads this but why does he 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 has all he has all this text on here that says dear friend like if I show you here down the bottom right he says dear friend I know your time is valuable blah 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 right but he doesn't show it on the page I'm just wondering where he would where I would put that does that mean I'm supposed to have a video in here right I'm not sure uh, add new section I don't need that I don't need a new row add new element hmm maybe I need a new section full width and then I want to move it to here 
No. No, I'm not gonna do this. <coughs> Maybe this is where this goes. Okay, so let's do that. I'm actually gonna put it up here. I'm gonna put a new column and it's gonna be a new element. It's gonna be text, a headline. So I'm gonna say this right here. Oops. Paste that in there. There we go. Free live workshop. Now I've got to make this uh, background. It's got to have a background. Background bold. Uh, select a font. No, it's not the one I want. It's the background. There it is. The background color. Let's make this this like this. It's got to be the same as the other one right or it's not a it's actually not oh, this is what I want anyways and then the font color has got to be white there we go for now <coughs> and hmm okay so let's just do that like this this is a free live workshop right here this here can be oh I guess you can't uh, do the whole thing okay so then I'm going to make that the basically this is going to be what this will be what's your number one question I'm going to put that in here instead and then in here is where I'm going to put that text that he says I know your time is valuable so I'll get right to the point I know your time is valuable so I'll get right to the point um I need your advice I'm putting finishing touches okay I need your advice I'm putting together together the finishing finishing touches to my master class does is that what he says master class I'm putting together on a new course called how to without okay finish touches on my on a course on a course on a a course called and let's just get that from here again um well, of course okay dot I want to make sure I want to make sure I don't leave anything out I don't leave anything out okay then he says so will you let me know your biggest question about how to so will you let me know your biggest question on how on how how on how to host a webinar that sells and this is how to make your first sales maybe this is what it has to be on on how to make your first sales with a webinar and this might be what I'm on there <coughs> okay so oh no I lost the page oh, there it is okay um, um um it could be anything you may think it's silly all you have to do is type your question in the box below and click submit okay it can be anything you may think it's silly and then he says all you have to do is type your question in the box below and click submit all you have to do is click is enter your question whoops question below and click submit 
submit okay and then it'll say in exchange for your advice I'll give you free access to my master class in exchange for oops for your advice I'll give you free access to my master class that is happening soon so I don't I'm not going to put a date myself right uh so what's your number one question so this one here I actually want to make this now uh, let's just say this has to be the same thing it's got to be on how to because because it has to be the same thing right and then this is going to be about there what's your number one question about how to I'm going to put a there I need your advice I make this bigger that's one of the things right with the click funnels you can't actually make different parts of your text different sizes different things you can make them bold and but you can't make a separate section in the same box different font sizes you'd have to make more than one box which is okay I can go in here and I'm going to say add a new row and I'm just going to make it another one column row and I'm going to add the element it's going to be paragraph and then in here I can take this this all this here right and I can put that in here obviously I want to change this to make the background the text color to be white there you go and then here I can remove this like this right I know your time valuable so I get right to the point I need your advice I'm putting together a finished in touch on a course called how to make your first sales with a webinar without stressing out about if you're doing it right I want to make sure I want to make sure I don't leave anything out so will you let me know your biggest question on how to make your first sales with a webinar it can be anything you may think it's silly all you have to do is enter your question below and click submit in exchange for your advice I'll give you free access to my master class that is happening soon okay um so for so now what I want is I got to get this I can, this can't be this right so this has to be uh this has to be submit submit because I said it was submit and I'm going to take this one out whoops this one delete this yep uh, and then I just want to have uh yeah, this is not a full name this will be a custom type and it'll be your number one question so enter your number one question here now this might I might actually you know what I'm actually going to make this I'm actually going to move this down here I'm going to add a new row and I'm going to move that add a new row no not add a new row over here I want to say that way oh, okay it's going to be one column okay an element uh can I just move this from here to here okay there you go and then I want to move the submit underneath it there we go okay uh this we probably put that down I can delete this yes sir okay so now I have my I, it makes more it's fuller size right uh, I would like this to be a different color right but like I said I can't do that without adding a new row and I want to move that maybe heading sub headline okay so let's do that let's go in here let's take all this whoops I just want this part out this part out of here and I'm going to be free live workshop and then here is going to be there you go and of course I want this to be 
white background as well white text and there we go oops and I need a background on it sorry background background color background color is not it's going to be like this so I'm not sure I like this whole thing but I guess it's okay if I could make this I probably can do a heading better border than I want <coughs> line height okay like that and then text transform letter spacing text shadow text colors uh, padding let's add uh, add a bit of padding there we go okay that's that's good I want that to be like that this one too let's do the same there's lots of stuff you can do right with the uh, click funnels uh very advanced the kind of stuff I can do a padding over here of 10 again and it kind of gives it more space around it right all right so um okay so there so now free live workshop oh actually this one I want to change the color of the font to something else might be there font color text color make it red maybe okay free live workshop free live master class it's actually a master class okay so now I have this uh, that's still not enough because I need now I have this number one question but then I have to when they click on submit it has to do it has to ask for the name and email right so now I'm going to use the pop-up and um, in here I'm going to add a new row a one column row two columns sure two columns and then I want to add another row and this will be a single column one and actually I need another one another one column I'm going to put that at the top move that to the top over here I guess this one okay so this one is going to be a heading and actually we need another row let's add another row and then here is going to be just some paragraph this is going to be a input I want this to be the input it's going to be the email address input type is going to be the full the full name first your full name here your full name here right required yes of course it's required okay and then this one here will be a another input and it's going to be the email address yes so let's go set it to email address uh, email address right here it's obviously required and then down here I want this to be a button so the button and send get free access all right get free access and then in here doo -doo -doo. okay so this one here I gotta of course say uh thanks so this will be uh, so to complete the process and get link to access free master class and you must enter your name and email and click the button below you will receive email with link so use your best email your best email here <clears throat> there we go okay so this this has to say you know, thank you for the great question <clears throat> okay there we go whoops I forgot pop up show the problem okay so then now we have the pop-up so whenever they click the submit that should do this so what do I do how do I do that I got to go down here and I got to set the action for the submit to be open the pop-up okay and then the pop-up oh sorry I forgot about that in the pop-up this button I have to say set the action to be a submit form okay now I have to go in integrations I have to integrate it to my Aweber I gotta say add list with tag and I'm going to go to my master class whoops 
that was not the right one I gotta go down here my master class and I'm gonna say answered question okay so now I'm gonna have people join the list but they will have this tag answered question and how that works is okay so now I have my ask campaign funnel right so that's done I'm going to save that I have my ask I, I probably it can be improved or whatever but if I go out of here free live masterclass. so that'll be my ask campaign right it'll be just an ask campaign that I can send people to and say hey you know what is it that you think would be the best you know whatever is the question that they need answered right so that's 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 that then in your email campaign you create a new campaign I'm going to create a blank campaign here too is going to be answered question and I'm going to go here and there's going to be on tag applied the tag will be answered question mm -hmm. so what is this uh remove subscribers from this campaign using tags trigger campaign when these tags are applied answered questions Hmm. okay let's just say uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna save that for now I just want to save and uh, pause yeah it's not active so this one here says let me see I want to see something because that's one thing I'm not sure about so replace trigger trigger campaign for new subscribers hmm start a campaign when someone is added to your list so welcome is there a way to tell um, add filter source add tracking country hmm. source is api oh, okay source is api what about add tracking is what is this this is a t equals or something okay let's get rid of those cancel this and this one just didn't get I wonder see that's the thing is I'm not sure when I get somebody subscribed to this list do they automatically get into this automatically this welcome one because they're subscribed uh but they don't have a tag well anyways in in this one let's just go in here and just say send a message and I'm going to create a message thanks for the great question I'm not sure is it loading or not or what what's going on oh cannot be saved at this time when we perform some brief maintenance oh that's nice oh. <laughs> I'm just in the middle of some sort of maintenance on Aweber but it's still saying waiting for so okay I guess it loaded up I guess there was a few a momentary maintenance so welcome to the perfect webinar master class master class thanks thanks for the great question to thank you for taking the time to submit it you will you can have free access to the master class master class which which will happen soon once once you can attend live you can attend live or uh, watch the recordings afterwards afterwards access the class using this special coupon link so I need to give I need to create a coupon for this right because manage deals and coupons I'm going to say I'm going to call this 
let's just call this free free zero I'm gonna have to give it an end maybe 2021-01-31 okay so this will be the coupon here I'm gonna take this link push paste it in here and this link this is only valid until the end of January 2031 2021 all right there we go I'm just going to save that like this and we're going to uh wait and apply a tag Seinfeld there we go that's my typical thing I do here save and exit and activate it so I'm not really sure what will happen if somebody subscribes and uses the answer question and anyways we'll see what happens whether they get the two emails maybe I'm not sure right but anyways um there you go so that's that's the, the once you've got the ask campaign obviously what you want to do is you want to uh, preview the page and uh, split test you want to have this is the link right here so if I open in incognito this is my ask for perfect webinar master and this will be the page that they're going to get uh, let's just try this out what is the best webinar platform to use I have no idea whether they're going to that email is going to come to me or not with that but I'm just going to go like this my full name is js tester and let's just say js test at fxos.com and then get free access what's going to happen did you mean no I didn't <clears throat> and then there you go so it doesn't do anything oh I should probably have it go to the next page or something say thank you or something right let's see did I even get that email inbox oh I'm going to get a because I haven't uh, disabled the uh, <laughs> I haven't disabled the um yeah just confirm subscription first let's do that <laughs> all right in an inbox see what happens did I get that welcome to perfect Medina master class first step go watch the pre-intro video here so I get this email do I get the other email hmm, I guess not okay let's go look at the Aweber if I look at this did that if I go back to the subscribers which will be this test subscriber I just created right now right this guy is the only one that's there right now I look at him what was sent sent and opened verification subscriber added last follow-up received why is that answered question I got the tag hmm maybe I'll get that tomorrow anyways we'll see what happens but that's uh, so I'm gonna have to fix that if it's uh, but that's how you create an ask campaign then you have this page you send people to you can create an ad you can just set that up in a at your dns you, there's all sorts of things you can do and then you send people to this page so that they answer the questions they get on your list and help you to find the right things to teach in your master class all right hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.